What's up guys, we're here, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be going over everything that's new and exciting inside of the brand new Witch Tides is what we call them. So we're gonna go over, I just ended up maxing out my Grim Favors. So that way we can go through and show you each and everything that's new inside of this va this Witch Tide and what you're gonna be doing to kind of, you know, navigate this stuff. So let's get through it. So the first thing is like Hell Tides, there is a tree with exposed roots. This is the tree, there's an icon that's at it, and it has exposed roots, and this is the main way that you guys are gonna summon the the new headhunting guys, right? This is the way you're gonna summon these things with the brand new roots. It's super easy to do. We got a ring of Tarashas finally. That's just unique, which we'll replace on our conceited ring uh, right now. But, uh, cause the, the, guy, the guy is turned off, but that's for a different video. So when you do the exposed roots, like I just saw, I'll have to pop it up here on the on the window. But this is where you're gonna summon a one of the headless guys, which is the main new like. It's basically equivalent to your to your boss inside of the normal hell tides, right? It's the equivalent of your like uh, your blood maiden inside here. Um, but on top of that, they did give us a plethora of brand new little. Um, tree of whisper missions that you can do inside these witch tides. Um, you can save entangled people. I mean, everything, it's all the one drops. They're all new stuff. Then there's the three drops searching for cleansing orbs, the, uh, patrol slay 80, you know, monsters on a guard, uh, consolidate the Highland bandits to give you a grim favor. So there's a lot of grim favor in here that you guys can get, but the main ones that you really want to get are the ones where you fight the big bosses, um, which is the wisps here? Destroy an exposed root to free lost wisps. Slay head rotten to gather wisps until they are laid to rest. This is a really strong one to do. Uh, so there's a lot of really cool things um, inside each of these witch ties, which I do think is cool. There's enough here to definitely get your grim favors up. And because there's three or four, five, one in each zone. You're going to be able to go through and just max these things out. So Shepherd here is the main one that I was just doing. So you guide wildlife to safety. This is um, this is really super easy to do. Um, the wisps are super strong, but these roots will allow you to summon the the big huge bad guys. Now, outside of that, the Tree of Whispers has been revamped a little bit. So now that we have Max Grim favors, let's go ahead and go over. Um, to the Whispers of the Dead here and kind of just explore some of the new rewards and things that they changed inside the Tree of Whispers. Um, this was supposed to be a revolutionary um, bump. So if you guys can see here, offer your Grim Favors to the Tree of Whispers. Um, Whispers of the Dead here. So we're going to go over. They did change how all this works. You can see the Covenant's Favor. This is the brand new quest line that you're going to be doing. Um, which is very similar to what we had in the past, guys. We've seen we see these things plenty of times. Um, you're gonna get these from just slaying the restless dead, um, and you're gonna go through. You got your quest stuff that you can complete on, and it's gonna give you restless rot and a bunch of really nice items. The one big change that they did give us is they brought back on tier twenty, giving us a resplendent spark, which was I don't know why they took it away. That seems silly, but now it's back. Also, you're getting three guaranteed ancestral legendaries, which is fantastic. That's something that they didn't do before. So now this is here. But yeah, it's the same track, guys. You go through and you're just going to slay all the monsters inside of the Witch Tides here. And that will rank that up. Now that we have our Grim Favors max, let's go ahead and take a look. So I'm just going to grab the Greater Collection of Gold. Bang! Service for a King. Which is super cool. Um, so we did that. Let's pop it open. And it's pretty much the same rewards as before. Nothing really too new here. I got only 2 million gold, um, which is very disheartening still. Um, but we got 2 million gold, which is cool. Uh, but the tree of whispers did get revamped in that regard. So yeah, this is this is the brand new Tree of Whispers, guys. Um, it's going to be available pretty much nonstop. You got five different zones: one, two, three, four, five that you can continuously do. So you should be able to ramp up 
I guess Grim Favors relatively fast. Um, recover the head or slay a husk for five Grim Favors. This also does not include like dungeons that you guys, when they do spawn or get selected inside of these zones. So you're going to be able to rack up a lot of Tree of Whispers. However, just on that greater gold cash, a greater gold cash only gave me 2 million gold, maybe almost 3 million gold. That is pebbles in comparison to before. Um, and then, of course, we got a bunch of materials, which is really nice. So uh, it doesn't look like the caches um, have changed. Now, let's go on to the next step here. Come over here to this coven. Go ahead and collect these just to, just to have them. Go ahead and open them up. We get a bunch of cool stuff, a bunch of elixirs, a bunch of normal blue and yellow gear, which is just fantastic. Um, I think that's great. You get a bunch of really cool gear that you can't use, so I think that's awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and just salvage all these items. But yeah, guys, that is the new revamped, new and improved Tree of Whispers and how this works. Again, it's basically just like the, the vampiric ties that we had in Season 2. Um, just to copy-paste again, guys, maybe, maybe we have more actual um, quests that you can do inside these things, but it's pretty much exactly the same. So... There's nothing really new here as far as what you're doing. Um, it's the same thing as before. You're just going to spend a lot of time in here slaying stuff to rank up your board, um, which shouldn't take too long in, in all honesty. Now, these ones that do have the marks for the side quest, guys, you will have to do those. So we don't have the quest available in the PTR because that's not part of what we're doing for testing. But those will fill those out. So that should also help you along that journey. But yeah, guys, this is the new and improved Witch Tides. So like the video, guys. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about all this stuff. And uh, be sure to subscribe. Ask any questions that you guys have about this, and I'll be gladly to answer them. And as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.